Welcome to Outlander Media, Kirby Lee Bailey, and I'm with the band K7 Army at Banky's in Owensboro, Kentucky. Welcome to introduce yourself to the camera, guys. Go by the name Spaz the Villain. K7. Okay, so the band's named after you. How do you get K7 the name? Uh, I play a seven string guitar, my name is Chris Walls with a K. Simple and plain. The army of my soldiers that play in the band behind me. Alright, man. I tell you one thing that was cool about this is every so often I go to a concert and I just get blown away by an earlier band. And I just saw y'all and I was like, oh shit. I need to interview these guys. Uh, like, this happened years ago. I was at a Cottonmouth Kings concert. I remember them, yeah. Long, long time ago. I've been around. And Mix Mob was supposed to open. And then some surprise band, Biotic Jive, opened in front of them. I know Biotic yeah. Jive. Y'all, like, yeah, yeah, I was yeah. like, this is like a cross between Bionic Jive, uh, Kissing Candace, and Rage Against the Machine. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. I'll take that as a compliment. Great. Thank you. That's love. That's love. Yeah, I, like I said, y'all remind me a lot of them. Kissing Candace also. I don't know if y'all have ever seen them. Uh -huh. uh, be sure to check them out. Yeah, they're awesome live. Great live. I've seen them. Got a few of their CDs. I'm a CD collector. I do not, I'm not, I do mad not stream you know. at all. I stream, but I collect CDs too. Yeah, I do both. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I put ourselves out there any way we can. Hey, I tell you, I'm such a CD person. People watch me in the gym. And I have a Walkman attached to me. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> I, hey, I, I still got three of them at home, bro. Hey, ain't nothing wrong with that. I got two records on disc. Yeah, for real. Yeah, for real. So how long have y'all been together? Ooh, well, we've been doing music together like this for, what, about three years or so? Three years, yeah. We've been knowing each other for a minute. You know, he was with a former crew, and I used to help open up with him and all that, and we just ended up forming our own crew within that. Yep. I say I have seen you before at Mob Style. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. Because we go up to Louisville, check that show out. Yeah. yeah shout out to Buckshot. All oh, right, Mob Style guys. Buckshot yep. has been on the show before. I'm yeah, sure. I always definitely love Mr. Buckshot. OG Buck. That's the homie. Yeah, he's yep. yeah. He's got the best merch on the planet. I don't care what anybody says. He's definitely OG for sure. <laughs> Ain't not that hustle, man. No, sir. <laughs> yeah, I see. I, I think I see you. Like I said, you were at Mom Star Christmas. Yeah, yeah. Be with the artists. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So where will y'all be going after this show? We got a couple dates in our hometown. We got uh, about three other dates that we're still working on contracts for. So. Where will y'all be playing? Are y'all talking about in Louisville? Or? we got two shows in Louisville this summer, yes, sir. Where, where we're at? We're at the Mag Bar, and then we're 21st Amendment. Yep. 21st, and is that the... On Shelby Street. On Germantown? Yep. yep. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Club 21 used to be called a long time ago. Yep. It's 21st Amendment now. We're there, and then we're at Mag Bar in the summer. And i got three other dates where I'm still working contracts on out-of-town stuff. You know. You ever thought about doing a big tour, like, get on the road, road? Of course. Road. Of course. You know, yeah. a lot of logistics in that. Oh, I know. It's so, you know what I mean? Well, I mean, one of the joys right now is with the economy being a little higher with the hotels and the gas. And oh, all yeah. You know. It's like, fuck's sake. Entertainment is tough. It's expensive being an entertainer. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Well, years ago, uh, Metallica was one of those bands that said, hey, we're against Napster because they're streaming all our stuff for free. And a lot of ours were like, no, nah, that's cool. And I'm like, I don't oh. know about this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Kind of lost the battle in the streaming wars, right? I knew it was coming to. Yeah. The whole entertainment industry is like that now, every, from everything. Yeah, yeah. Well, what killed a lot of these bands, and hurt a lot of them, and they realized it real quickly, was when COVID came yeah. and oh, shut yeah. everything down. Yeah, that was tough. And you couldn't tour. Yeah. And I, I played like, one show that year. Yeah, I didn't play none. I played one. Yeah, yeah. It was an outdoor show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was it social distance too? Yeah, it was. Yeah, three feet or whatever, six feet. Yeah. Yeah, we did a we did a show that summer at Beaver Dam. It was oh, great yeah. white. That's a big venue. Yeah. It was great white. It, oh Lord, I said I will never ever do this again because we were so far back from the band. I needed binoculars to see oh, the band because wow. they were social distance so badly at this show because they had to meet this standard, that standard, this standard. Right. It's like fuck's sake, you know? No, 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 no. We're not doing that again. It is what it is. People try to be safe and still have fun. You know, we got to do what we got to do to keep the entertainment going. Hey, I tell you, one of the first shows that I did that I went to after COVID kind of started coming to an end was, uh, I think it, it was R.A. the Rugged Man in Knoxville, Tennessee. And, and he was one of those artists that come out there, was hanging in the crowd, didn't give a damn, didn't have a mask on or nothing. Yeah, yeah. For real. And, and I remember uh, one of Louisville shows I came up to, 
the Mob Stop Christmas that was that same year. And it was kind of weird because I saw a few people before with masks on. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, like, oh. yeah, it's a little strange that time, man. I seen people perform with the mask over their face too. I'm like, yo, ain't no holes in that mask. <laughs> Hard to hear you, you know what I mean? Yeah. People want to show up and show out still, dogs. I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hate on, but I was like, yeah, it was a weird I was watching time, Boondocks, though. and I was like, damn, I hope you don't die up there. All I, right. I see people trying to jog on a damn treadmill with that mask. I was like, oh hell no. <laughs> yeah, ain't nothing to play with. Mask to cut your oxygen way off. What's y'all's future? Are y'all gonna have like a release, a full release, or anything like that? Like a single we're working, release? We're, we're, we've already had two videos now. We're working on a full album. We've got four songs. Songs shot, had enough complete. So, spring of 2024, we should bust down the full 10 song CD. Uh, you go to our YouTube channel, The K7 Army. And stream from there. We have videos on there and stuff, and links to our, all of our social media content. Man, I'd like to say, let me know when that CD comes out, because I buy that shit. For sure. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah, yeah. I always, like I said, if I see it on the tour, I always buy a CD. Yeah, yeah. I see it. I mean, I'm old school, I like CDs too. Yeah. 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 I mean, old Buckshot, he's like, you can hold it, it's in your hand. Yeah. You're yeah. it, you have it, you know what I mean? You can't sign a digital disc. Exactly. You know what I mean? That's what I tell, like that. that's what I tell a lot of artists that have CDs and flats, you know, picture flats. Yeah. And, 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 and a little autograph on there and you can just sold it. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, guys. Hey, I appreciate y'all coming on our show. Yes, we'll catch you again probably in Louisville somewhere or wherever you tour. We'll touch you. Yeah. We'll catch you. And follow us on Outlander Media. Follow K7 Army on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, YouTube. YouTube. All the K7 Army. K7 Army all the way. And we'll check them out again sometime. And Outlander Media is out of here. Peace. I don't know why they trust me. When they see me, I'm going to die. I, 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 I,